Hey, would you mind going on a prayer walk with me? Prayer changes things. Pray with me over this home. That it'll be a place of safety. A place where the word of God is understood and where the voice is heard of Jesus. This is a lot of times where I sit. Would you pray over this place? God would re reveal to me his truth. God would sanctify my mind. Like he'd make this place a place where I can rest and recover from ministry. A place that is even open up to others. Jump on a bike epath and join me on my ride to school. What a joy it is to be in a place where the weather is nice and I am blessed to have a bicycle for transportation. This is normally how I go. Would you just pray that um, the road would be safe? Um, that other drivers would be safe as well, that as I go, I would have great times of reflection both on the upcoming day and also on the day as it ends and I come home. I am blessed to be in a place where it's uh, pretty much safe to drive, but um, as you can see, sometimes um, uh, things are a little bit unexpected on the way. Um, I even stop on the way sometimes and grab breakfast. So would you just pray that as, as I interact with people that my witness would continue to be good that um, I would be safe, and that God would use these times even as restorative. May God direct my paths. All right, now hop off and join us for chapel as we sing praises to our Lord. So no, I do not own the rights to this music, and I do not claim to be able to sing well, but I am very, very blessed to be able to sing praises to my King. <laughs> that we get to have school in person and I get to worship and that um, God doesn't care that I can't necessarily sing well but we just we just sing out to him but we are blessed by a great worship team so would you pray with me over my classroom this classroom actually hosts about seven classes and I have the privilege of teaching two of those these kids are going through a lot they've they've really been affected by the COVID-19 crisis so many of their friends have not been able to come back to school Many of their teachers have not either. Some of their families are affected financially, and even some of their families are separated. Would you pray for them as they deal with these stresses, as they also try to go through school and go through those growing up years? And pray for me as, as I teach these students that I communicate the gospel, live out the gospel, and communicate truth as I teach content. Thank you so much. Pray with me for our cross-country course. It's a beautiful sunset here at Crick's. We got two really good, pretty decent um, soccer pitches here. So we run. Students work hard. We come together, we share conversations. And every once in a while we talk about life too and how it relates to running. Would you pray with me for my team? Well, I'm getting down on the tube of toothpaste, but this just shows that I've, I've been here living in Thailand teaching for two months. That is amazing. I've been sustained by so many people. I have pretty much the best support team there is. Deepak, thank you so much for being my support out there. Thank you so much, William Baptist University, the community that sort of launched me out into this season of my life. There's people that I would call professors, would call friends, even my peers, but um, I call you my dear friends. And I thank you and so many more people who give sacrificially so that I might be here, who pray so that um, these places God might use them for the furtherance of the gospel. So continue to follow along with me. Like this video. Subscribe if you want to um, hear more content about what God's doing here in Thailand and see exactly how long it takes me to get through a tube of toothpaste. Because you see, oh, being obedient to God isn't about those great and huge moments where you jump on a plane and go to Thailand. Obedience is about listening to Jesus every single day when you're brushing your teeth, when you're doing the mundane things, and that is where... He calls people. That is where he moves in people's hearts, and that is where he uses your life, the mundane things, 
the simple things that you consider simple to do great impact for the kingdom. Continue to be obedient to what God has called you to do. And please comment with um, ideas of other things you want to hear about Thailand. And please comment with ways God's been faithful in your life as you've just given him a little bit of obedience. A little bit of obedience goes a long way.